Peter, what's the biggest thing the construction industry needs to do to improve? The yeah, construction industry really needs leadership if it's going to be attracting the sorts of young, smart, capable people that will be part of tomorrow's industry. Hands up if you've ever been shouted at before. Every one of you in the room have a better than one in 10 chance of actually knowing someone that works in construction. I refer to the steel ceiling as a behavioural barrier that stops our industry from becoming the exceptional industry that it could be. Let me tell you about a time when I found the courage to stand up to a bully. A few years ago, I was engaged as a project engineer in one of Australia's largest infrastructure projects. The office was run a bit like a scrum, and I'm not talking agile methodology here. Some might suggest construction being a rather noisy industry, that it's all about people essentially trying to speak loudly and getting over the noise of what's in the background. Based on my 30 years involvement in the industry, that's not it. Nine projects typically in business go well. But as I say to my clients, the 10th project is the one that blows your company up. The trick, of course, is to figure out which one the 10th project is, right? Let's look at Australia's engineering and construction workforce. It's the third largest industry by employees. Construction is a tough industry. Billions of dollars worth of investment. It's a feast of famine industry, born of boom and bust economic cycles that affect industries right across Australia. Interestingly, 12% of workers are female. 13% of qualified engineers are female. So it's an unusual industry in that respect. Tragically, workers are six times more likely to die from suicide than they are from a work accident and an inherently dangerous industry like construction. That's a confronting statistic. So why the problem? Stressed blokes will typically communicate with each other by shouting. The issue arises when we perceive the shouting as bullying. Bullying impacts productivity. The industry has performed abysmally from a productivity perspective since the 1990s. And to be clear, we are all complicit when we accept this as normal behaviour. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are, we are all leaders.